Basically, I found my old high school journal. For two years, I was forced to keep a journal by my English teachers. And I went. I moved back home, and I found them, and I read them on the show, and I let my friends make fun of me. What was I thinking as a 17, 18-year-old John Reap? It's a segment that I like to call John's Journal, John's Journal. This is where I read. From a high school journal. <laughs> <laughs> Did my face turn That's a red? Lot worse. That was a lot worse with headphones on this time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Well, I guess we've all heard that whenever a black cat crosses your path, that you're going to have bad luck. But I don't think that superstition applies to me. In my neighborhood, there is this one house where about 100 cats live. 50 of them are black. Every time I ride by this house, there always seems to be a black cat in the road. Of all the times that it's happened to me, I've never had bad luck right after it. Unless you call running over a cat bad luck. That's it. That's all I wrote. Apparently, I murdered a cat with my car. (laughs) Now, this is true. I do remember uh, a house right next to uh, Greg Hudson's house that had tons of cats. And uh, Greg Hudson happened to have a sandbox in his backyard. And these cats would come over there and use that as their toilet. And so uh, I do remember seeing, and to this day, I think there's still a lot of cats running around there. Thoughts? I'll, I'll start with Sebastian. What are your thoughts? Why well, is always going to be a black cat? Uh, and listen, I didn't come up with a superstition. All right? It's just something that existed before me. I'm merely talking about it. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's because that's what witches like. I don't. I don't know how mm-hmm. this. I don't know how the superstition started. Alan Jackson, do you know how this superstition started? I, I do not, John. I, I have no no clue. But can I just re- can I get, just get a little clarification on the uh, the journal entry there? Yes. So so you did in fact run over and murder a cat. Is that what I'm hearing? I think in this journal, I just thought it'd be a funny ending. I was trying to be witty. Oh. I was trying to be funny. It's not even that funny. Um, Sorry. So you I'd were not it, confessing to yeah. animal manslaughter here. So you're right. I was. I guess my joke that I was trying to make here was that it's not bad luck for me, it's bad luck for the black cat. All right. That, yeah. I, I think that's what the point I was trying to make. Um, mm-hmm. I've, I don't think I've ever run over a cat that I know of. I've hit deer, I've hit a turkey, and uh, I don't think I've hit a cat. Now, my girlfriend did murder a cat once with her car. That was very traumatizing. <laughs> Did you really? Jody, do you want to sit in there and, uh, and, and, and confess <laughs> to your sins? It, it was an Jody, accident. Jody's crying in here now. So Look, she Sorry. was devastated. <laughs> I remember we were getting ready to go out. We were leaving my brother's house. We were on this road, and there was a car. It was a two-lane road, right? Traffic going right at each other, just two lanes. We're in the right lane. Here comes a car in the left lane towards us. And out of nowhere, this black cat just darts across the road. Now, Jody couldn't swerve because there was a ditch with mailbox on her right that would have damaged the car. She couldn't go left because there was an oncoming car. She had to move forward. Even though she hit the brakes not in time, that cat, uh, we ran over it. And I remember looking up into the rearview mirror, and that thing was just flopping around. It was really sad. (laughs) So. That cat ceased to be. Right. So that was... Bad luck for that cat. That's bad luck for that cat. (laughs) That was bad luck, yeah. And ever since then, I don't think anything bad's happened to us. I mean, nothing like a pandemic or anything. (laughs) No, no. Life's been great. So you're you're, you're trying to imply that maybe this all started because Jody hit a cat? Jody started Corona. <laughs> no, no, yes. Yeah. Um, hey, Marcus Stamos, have you ever hit a cat or a dog with your car? Yeah, I've hit a dog. I, 
I don't know if I hit a cat, but uh, you know you're going to have the don't F with cats people all over your ass now because of this. Yeah, well, I hope that they're watching. Um, that's one of my be- my favorite shows on Netflix, but yeah. Uh, you said you hit a dog? Yeah, I've hit a, I've hit a big dog um, with my car before. Um, Did you kill it? I don't know. It's one of those deals you just keep going. You just kind of close your eyes when you hit it. You know it's coming. You just close your eyes, and then you don't look in the mirror. Don't go back. You just act like it never happened. <laughs> so how long ago was that? Do you remember that moment? I mean, like, were you, did you get, were you sad? Did you yeah, turn around and go check on the dog? No, uh, I think it was, it was, uh, it was somebody's house that I knew. Um, and uh, I did hear tell later that their dog had got run over. Um, but I didn't, like, I didn't know anything about it. But Do you it remember something. the time frame? Was this in the eighties or nineties? This was probably four or five years ago. You're, you're trying to get out of me um, a timeline, I understand, to find out <laughs> what this was. Well, I, honestly, uh, we used to have a Cocker Spaniel uh, named Sissy. Yes. And, uh, From Urban Cowboy, right? Yeah, you remember her? Yeah. That's where well, you got the name. My mother, had, my mother loved Cocker Spaniels. In fact, we had one called BJ. <laughs> And that stood for Betty's Jewel, get your mind out of the gutter. Um, And then that one died. And then we got another one, another Cocker Spaniel, and she named it Sissy. Um, Now, I'm not sure which one, how which one died, but one of them uh, ran across the road and got hit by a car. And I'm just wondering what time frame it was. I want to know if you killed my dog. No, it definitely was not in your neighborhood. Okay, then you're good. It was a big dog, so it wasn't a little baby. Oh, okay. thing. Alan, you ever killed an animal? <laughs> um, I know I, I've hit a deer. Um, I mean, you know, count squirrels and all that stuff. I don't think I've ever hit an actual cat or dog that I'm aware of. Uh, yeah, something about killing a dog or a cat is worse because those are the ones that we keep as pets, you know? Yeah. Uh, the worst, Which is kind of a shame. I mean, you think about a deer. A deer's a pretty cool animal and pretty good size. You kill it and you're just like, eh. Killed a deer. You know, if you, yeah, if you hit a dog or a cat, you'd be kind of emotional about it for a while. So. Yeah. I got yeah. mad. I So when I hit a deer, I don't know if I ever told you guys this story. I was uh, driving in West Virginia. I was on the interstate, and I was going about 65. Um, but in West Virginia, even on the interstate, there's a lot of trees around you. You know, you're still up in the mountains or whatever. Anyway, a deer come running out of the woods as if it were being chased by something. And before I knew it, I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and then in under a second, it was in front of my car. And I slammed on the brakes, but I was going too fast. I hit it in the in its side, okay? I'll do it to this camera. So I'm the deer. I'm running this way. You're the car. <laughs> I hit its side, and its head flops like that onto the hood, and it made eye contact with me like that, <laughs> and then I ran over it. right if you want to watch the whole version the entire episode click on this little square right here or if you just want to subscribe and watch them later click on that little bubble right there and thank you